Ladies and gentlemen, I am here to be heard. Welcome to the Nomad Cast. I'm your host, Damon. Today's episode, we're talking about the Nike Air Max Scorpion. This shoe is wild. Got a lot of fun facts about this shoe. Might as well go ahead and dive into it. Let's go ahead and dissect it and see what's up with it. The Nike Air Max Scorpion. Here you go. The Nike Air Max Scorpion is a byproduct of the Nike Vapor Max. The shoe was created during the pandemic of 2020 with a condensed time of 18 months to create and develop. In a collaborative effort, Nike designers, scientists, and engineers worked on the shoe virtually. Air Max Scorpion currently offers the most air as it relates to PSI, pounds per square inch. The shoe is 20% recycled content by weight. Now let's go ahead and dive into the Nike Air Max Scorpion. One thing about it with modern technology, modern materials, the way Nike, the developers at Nike, the designers at Nike, scientists, whoever worked and worked on this shoe. When you integrate materials such as the Chanel fabric and the fly knit uh, material on this shoe, look at that. That is collaboration at its best. Working hand in hand to ensure success. It happens in life, it can happen with a shoe. But look how this material looks. It's almost like a velvety, you know, corduroy-ish, if you will. I tell you, this material is very soft, especially up top here. I'm assuming that's the Chanel fabric because this is the fly knit down here, wrapping your whole foot up. Now, before I even get started with the rest of the shoe, I want to make sure I'm clear. In my experience, this is a lifestyle shoe this is not a running shoe if you want to run in the nike air max scorpion go ahead my recommendation rock it on the regular do not run in these but you can if you want you don't want to buy it all right let's look back here traditional heel tab with nike and braille and it has braille writing on the tongue my assumption is is for when you run in the night to walk in the night it illuminates so people oncoming traffic can see you right now one thing I want to talk about before I get started, we talk about the Air Max Scorpion. What do you think these little bubbles represent? Yeah, Damon, it's the Air Max. I get that. I get that. When you see the Air Max Scorpion, what do you see on scorpion tails? See all those bubbles? It's reminiscent of a scorpion tail. And this is all per Nike. This is not me making this up. Look at that. The way they integrate materials with this company is freaking phenomenal. I'm a Nike guy, Adidas guy, all brands guy, but Nike just, you, you talk about doing the most, Nike does that, it's a beautiful shoe. All right, look at the Nike sign right here embedded, right on top of the toe box. You come around here, look at these materials, integrated, collaborative materials working together, hand in hand, in concert, if you will. Man, this is a phenomenal shoe, look at that. You can bend that shoe. The Nike Air Max freaking Scorpion, man. This thing is freaking great. Look at that. I just want to just take a look. Just look at all this right here. This shoe, I'm telling you, is freaking phenomenal, man. From the bottom, that's a non-traditional Nike bottom. Look at all that air, pounds per square inch. I talked about it when I talked about the history of the shoe, the makeup of the shoe. This Nike Air Max Scorpion to date has the most air, has the most air pounds per square inch ever as of right now, currently. But we'll see how that goes because you know how it goes. Nike can make something next week. They call this the Air Max Scorpion next week. Nike can say, hey, we got the Nike Air Max Bear. We got the Nike Air Max Alligator. You know what I mean? But this shoe, Nike in the instep here, fly knit material, Chanel fabric all along here. And this actually comes from a lot of recycled materials as well. This is a great looking shoe. Got a base here with the toe box, the back, look at that, Nike in the back. Got this heel support back here. I will tell you again, this is a beautiful shoe, but I don't recommend running in this shoe because you know, we talked about it in the past before and you guys know as well. Nike make the best looking shoes from a lifestyle standpoint. Hands down, Nike is the best. But when we talk about running in a Nike shoe, 
playing basketball in the Nike shoe and doing these things, athletic moves, right? Conducting athletic operations in the Nike shoe. I wouldn't do it. I've hurt, I've broken my foot wearing freaking Nikes. Hurting my foot freaking wearing Nikes running and doing all that. Nike, stick to lifestyle shoes. We can wear Air Maxes. We ain't got to run in Air Maxes. We ain't got to run in Prestos and none of these other ones. Just rock them on a regular. The official term is lifestyle shoe. But, man, this is great. Look at that. Right here on the tongue. Of course, a non-traditional tongue. Then you look down here at the spine of the tongue, down to the throat. You see that reflective material. Again, man, this is it's not too much I can say about the shoe that I haven't said before. Um, this shoe is freaking great. It's a little pricey, as you can see here in the different colors and also the different prices. 250 some dollars for a pair of shoes. But I tell you, man, it's one of those things in life. If you're comfortable with paying this amount of money for a shoe, you want to feel good about a shoe, you want your feet to feel great, hey, man, there's no price when it comes to quality of life. It's like buying a mattress. Do you want to buy a $200 mattress or you want to buy a $3,500 mattress? You know, to each his own. One thing I also want to point out here, if you can see right here, see that Air Max is right up in there as well, written. Man, this is great. This is a nice looking freaking shoe. The Air Max Scorpion, y'all. The Air Max Scorpion came out last October. 2022 and hey, thank you guys for tuning in today here on the nomad cast we're back we're back as you can see brand new studio still my office but i outlined everything with the dad going sound panels and all that put in the comments what you think about the episode what you think about the sound panels my boards my lighting and all that and also hey do what the shirt says like comment subscribe and do all those things right my mother-in-law got me this shirt so I got some more as well. Hey, if you find value with this episode, you were entertained, and more importantly, if you learned something, consider liking, subscribing, and sharing this content. I tell you, I definitely appreciate it. Getting new subscribers, generating new subscribers, new comments. Man, sharing on social media, it's a beautiful thing. The Nomad Cast, I am everywhere. Social media, 60 second clips on social media, full episodes on YouTube full audio episodes on all audio podcast platforms i'm here thank you for tuning in today here on the nomad cast where story time is a pastime because i am here to be heard trust and believe